episode 1041, Carry Your Shield of Faith. Moms, needing a little inspiration and a ray of hope? You've come to the right place. This is the show that you can turn to for just the pick-me-up you need. This is Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. I hope you're having a splendid week. I know for me, it has been a long one. I am actually ready to hit the road. Oh, yes, we are headed down south to go look for a new house. So if you have a moment, say an extra prayer for me and and pray for our new home. Whatever God is going to provide for us, we're not sure. We're just beginning the process, so I would appreciate your prayers. Today, we're talking about carry your shield of faith. We all need to carry a shield, and are we doing it? What does it look like? For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and to sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, you must ready yourself for the day. Carry your shield of faith to extinguish all of what comes your way. We are not created to fight the daily battles by ourselves. God desires us to take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. That is more than powerful. You should feel empowered today knowing that when you carry your shield of faith, you can move mountains. When your day begins to go sour, what happens? Do you draw on your own strength? I believe that is our default. When we are confronted with challenges, it's a fight to stay above water. We quickly move into survival mode. Life isn't about survival. It's about abundance. Think about that. It's about abundance. But most of us are living in, I just want to get by. I'm just loading the trucks. I'm barely surviving. I'm just trying to stay above water. We're all about what we don't have, but we have so much. So how would you feel if you could leave your worry at the foot of the cross? Let God give you the physical and emotional strength, the mental fortitude. One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. Carry your shield of faith. Maybe you've been experiencing some letdowns and defeats in your life, challenged by what you dream is yours to have versus the valley you're trapped in. I think we've all been there. You might actually be there right now. Maybe you're having trouble with finances. Your marriage is more than shaky. You've been discussing divorce for months now. But somehow, yeah, it's just the normal You're just getting by, trapped in the valley. What has been your recourse? What are some other possibilities you've tried to change course, to change direction? And at what point do you look beyond yourself? Carry your shield of faith. It's oh so hard to do. And when you put it down, what happens? kind of scary. When you give in to only what you can't control, you have a greater mess. It's not fun living in chaos. I mean, I know life around here with our family is a party every day, but I would much rather have a party with smiles than a party in a mess and frowns any day. You could be sinking in the valley all because you're doing it alone. It's of your own strength. God does not want you living life alone. He wants to be present for you. But you have to be willing to carry your shield of faith. It's when you put down the shield of faith that your heart and mind become distracted and disconnected. What has distracted you lately? You know, I'm on my way now to head down south. It's exciting and I'm scared all at the same time. I'm looking at different school systems in two different towns. I have to make some major decisions. Praise the Lord, yes, we've sold our house here up north, but now I have to go find another home. 
And that home is something that my younger two are going to graduate in. Where we've been now, our older three have graduated in. It's pretty much a huge milestone for us. And when you begin to dissect it and analyze it, and which you all know that my brain goes there, I go much deeper than just, oh, well, we're going to get a new house. Okay, great. What's the finances? What's our budget? Okay, let's go do it. Oh, no, no, no. I look at everything. I'm already planning out graduation for my youngest. Okay, not exactly, but that's on my mind. Because where he goes to school is going to impact him for the rest of his life. He's going to meet friends there. I want him to have opportunities. Whether he takes advantage of those opportunities or not, that's his choice. But if we don't give him those opportunities, then he can't say no or yes to them. So it is a tough decision. And no matter what we do in our life and where we're going, we always have struggles and challenges that face us. You could be standing in the grocery store and have a challenge. I've got three different meats in front of me. Which one do I want to buy? Well, you could look just at how much it cost. Oh, that's easy. I want to buy the less one, so I'll get that one. That's easy. But if you sit there and say, oh, but what has the most protein? What has the most nutritional value? Okay, now we're getting deeper. You see, God wants to live in your life at the deeper level. But if you're afraid to carry your shield of faith with you, how can he be present with you? Yeah, we're the one who drops the ball. And so I want to encourage you today, carry your shield of faith. God wants to be right there with you. He wants to hang on. I can't wait. I'm taking God house shopping. How exciting is that? He's going to walk stairs with me. He's going to look at old homes. He's going to look at new homes. He's going to look at homes that he's probably going to scratch his head and I am too, going, what were they thinking with this wallpaper? I promise you, I will share stories with you. I've looked online already. You know, realtor.com is an awesome thing. And some of these houses, I'm thinking, you've got to be kidding me. Why would they do that to that wall? But we do that in our lives, right? We do things that make sense for us in our lives because we have control over it. But God says, no, you need to carry your shield of faith because I want control of it. But when you put it down, you're telling him you don't want him in your life. Come on, wouldn't it be great to go dress shopping or shoe shopping with him? Everybody needs a new pair of shoes. How many new pairs of shoes do you have in your closet? Or maybe it's jeans. Or it's purses. Usually one of those three gets somebody in there. You know, I I cover almost all bases. For me, it's a house right now because it's kind of important. We need to get out of here sometime the first of the year. So we're on a mission. But are you on a mission with God or are you doing it by yourself? Today, I want you to vow to carry your shield of faith. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. And I promise you, he will bless you beyond anything you could ever imagine. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.